I'm going to start this video on how to create a new project with a folder that's been provided to you through Google Classroom. This one is the Mercedes project. Just click on the link for the Google Drive folder. It's going to open up the folder. You can then right click on the name of the folder up in the top right hand corner and then go to download. When that downloads, yours defaults to go into downloads. What you can do, I'm just going to show that up on my screen. Oops. So it shows up in downloads. It's actually asking me where I want to put it. So I'm just going to put it in downloads. It says Mercedes and save so that we're in the same location. All right, so it just saved that folder there. It might take a few seconds to do that. Um, click on your little yellow folder on your taskbar across the bottom, and then go to downloads. You should see the very top item should say Mercedes. It has a zip on it, so therefore we need to extract it. And this is also going to serve our purpose of creating a new folder on our desktop for a new project. So I'm going to right-click on the... Mercedes zip folder and go to extract all. It's going to ask where do you want to put these. I'm going to click browse and then go to the desktop and then um, it's down to the bottom says folder desktop. Select the folder and now it's going to extract this Mercedes folder to the desktop. So I click extract the process finishes, so if I go to my desktop, I should see a Mercedes folder, which is right here at the top. I can see that I did it today. I'm going to open that folder, and it actually inserted a second folder. So the Mercedes commercial, it includes all of these files that are on your screen, not the yellow folder. So now what I'm going to do is go into Premiere. And I'm going to click on New Project. First thing I'm going to do is title this project Mercedes. Uh, I'm going to put period because it's period three right now and I'm going to change the project location choose location and then I'm going to go to the desktop I'm going to select the Mercedes folder and then click select folder I'm going to verify the project location up in the top it says users my name desktop Mercedes and then I'm going to actually go back to the desktop on the left hand panel and find the Mercedes commercial folder that we just extracted to. I don't want to check mark in there. I want to double click on the folder that way not everything is selected because I have a second folder in here. I am then going to select all of the video and audio files. There's music and sound effects. I'm going to select all of those items Make sure there are no blue marks on my import settings on the right hand side. And I'm going to click create. Give it a few seconds and it should bring up a timeline for me so that I can, there we go. And again, I always recommend the first thing I want you to do is to take one of those video clips, the purple and green icon and drag it over to the right hand side timeline, drop it over there. It will create your sequence and give you the proper aspect ratio for your project. I'm then just going to delete that file so that it's not on my timeline and then I'm ready to go. When I dragged that clip over to that timeline, it named the uh, actual sequence right here. Again, it's identified by a little playhead with layers. Re rename that to the name of your project. In this case, it's Mercedes 3. Hit enter. 
and you know never to drag that file from here over to your sequence because it is this sequence. You see the name is now changed here. You can then start editing your clips. What I recommend is, remember, you can rename these clips. You can double click on a clip and just start with like working with tens, meaning you name the first clip 10, the second clip 20, the third clip 30, what you think they go in order. So if you have to watch each one of these clips and kind of decide, okay, there's a title for AMG driving performance. Okay, so that could go at the beginning or the end. I'm going to leave that alone. Second clip, I'm going to double click on it, press play. I've got people clapping their success. Well, clapping comes after the driving and all the testing. So there, I'm just going to put that as like clip 80. So I Again, I click on the name of it and I'm going to type in, I want to leave the .mp4, so 80.mp4, hit enter, it saves it. And then what I end up with is a numerical number of my clips over here so I know which one I want to put first, second, and third. You can always change it if you identify another clip that you think goes before another, but you should end up with all of those clips in order. Build your project from there, but that's how to start a new project.